Hey everybody, how you doing today? Please forgive the barking dogs and the construction in the neighborhood this afternoon. Love a little stronger, dig a little deeper. Go a little farther, anything to please you, girl. Tonight I'm gonna start all over, show you. Please forgive my voice. I've um, <laughs> been struggling with some of these allergies in Nashville here lately. Uh, I want to talk a little bit today about rules in songwriting. And uh, that song, uh, a song I co wrote uh, with Greg Swint and Billy Crittenden for uh, Diamond Rio, who came in number one uh, a while back. And uh, it ties in a little bit to what I'm getting ready to say. Um, if you're songwriting and you're, if you're just starting out, or even if you just, I know if you've been doing it for a while, but if you're just starting out, you may have noticed that some of your co-writers will say things to you. Uh, you'll throw out a line and uh, not even knowing you're doing it maybe or thinking about it. And your co-writer will say, man, we can't say love in that line. or We can't say heart or we can't say home in that line. We just said that, used that word in the previous line or two lines ago or in the verse. And this is the chorus is too soon. So anyway, the long, uh, and the short of it being that the rule there is, and I've even heard it, people say it like this at times, that uh, you, can only, you can't use a, a word more than once in a song. Obviously, this doesn't apply to articles like and and the, <laughs> but uh, at any rate, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those rules that I have to remind people occasionally that, well, yeah, that's a good, good rule to know uh, before you break it. <laughs> and that's my main theme here today is that, you know, there are such things as rules in songwriting that you need to learn along your uh, journey of writing songs, but at the same time, all rules are made to be broken. And uh, that song I just played, you love a little stronger. Um, it, uh, when we first wrote that song, we wrote it third person. It was love a little stronger, dig a little deeper, go a little farther, really think to please her. Tonight I'm gonna start. Show that girl, show, show that girl what's in my heart. Ooh, love a little strong. So you can see we had a little bit more of a uh, perfect rhyme with deeper, love a little stronger, dig a little deeper, go a little farther, anything to please her, deeper please her. And that was one of the instances where uh, <laughs> we didn't really have a choice in the rewrite. Um, that song was recorded by Diamond Rio and. I didn't actually even learn that they were interested in the song or had it on hold or anything until it was already recorded and on their record and coming out in two weeks as a single and the title cut of that album, Love A Little Stronger Album. But um, so when we heard the record, we thought, well, cool, man, get to hear our record. And uh, uh, we sat down and we noticed that they changed it to first person. Love a little stronger, anything to please. Oh, dig a little deeper. Yeah. Go a little farther, anything to please you, girl. And all, all right off the bat, I was like, what, what, what are they doing there? <laughs> uh, so I wouldn't have minded that so much at the time even, but um, then they went on the next line, they went, um, tonight I'm gonna start all over. Show you girl what's in my heart. In other words, they use you girl, you girl, back to back in two lines. And tell you the truth, I might have wound up doing the same thing. At the end of the day, it didn't make one bit of difference as to the success of the song. It became a number one on um, all of the charts that mattered in country music in, in the U.S. at the time and went on to sell quite a bit of records for them and they actually put it on the Greatest Hits album. Anyway, one of my best cuts and uh, at the end of the day it didn't really matter. They, you know, they changed Love a Little Stronger, Dig a Little Deeper to uh, Go a Little Farther, Anything to Please Her to Love a Little Stronger, Dig a Little Deeper, Go a Little Farther, Anything to Please You Girl. Tonight I'm going to start, show you girl what's in my heart. <laughs> As I said before, I would probably have liked the chance to maybe rewrite that second line and uh, I might have tried to come up with something that was different, uh, you know, than um, your girl back to back in two lines. But once again, they didn't see anything wrong with it and, you know, it, it kind of, I don't know, rankled me for a minute or two, but the single began to climb the charts and by the time it reached the number one position, uh, I was in love with it. So. <laughs> and I've been singing it their way ever since, obviously. So, anyway, just that's just my two cents worth on uh, rules and songwriting, you guys. 
It's good to know them before you break them. Y'all have a great day, man. Thank you.